Welcome everyone uh, to the CU Global Seminar. Uh, we are waiting for all the participants to join in. So we'll give it a few minutes before we start. Uh, I can see uh, we have uh, quite a few members joining as attendees. Uh, if you please bear with us for the next uh, two to three minutes, we'll start as soon as all the members join. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, we have a few more attendees who have joined in. We'll just give it one more minute before we start the webinar. Thank you, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Um, I think we will start the webinar now. Uh, I can see more and more people are joining in, but uh, I know others have joined on time, so we won't delay it further. We'll start from here. So to start with, I'd like to uh, say good evening to everyone at University Hub. We are very excited to host uh, CU Global webinar with Campusville University today. My name is Pavan Srivastava, and I'm the Vice President for University Hub. It's an absolute pleasure to co-host uh, today's webinar with my colleague Himaja. She's on the call as well. I've been serving our international student community for years and I have a passion for international educations. I hope to get the opportunity to work with each one of you uh, today. Um, I really appreciate you all taking the time out today to meet for this information webinar and to hear more about Campusville University and their course offerings, especially CU Global which uh, is a unique opportunity. It gives you an opportunity to start your degree at your home country and then move to USA to complete it. I'm sure many of you will have many questions during the webinar. I would request you to share these uh, under the QA and option underneath your screen, as you can see. Once we finish with the webinar topics, we will go into the Q&A and we'll answer all your questions. So with this, let me get started. I'd like to introduce you to our panelists on the webinar today. So I'd like to welcome uh, Dr. Jay Connor, who is the Executive Director of Graduate Business Program, and Dr. Chuck Crane, 
who is the chair of graduate business program. Uh, just a few minutes back, uh, we had a message from uh, Dr. Connor that uh, unfortunately something uh, came up and he wasn't very well and that's why he kind of had to drop out. But uh, all the slides will be covered by Dr. Connor. Let me give you a quick uh, background, you know, uh, on uh, Dr. Uh, Connor just to in introduce him. So Dr. Crane uh, has been serving uh, Campbellsville University for more than 10 years now. Dr. Crane has directed the graduate business programs since 2017, moving into this position from his main campus. His areas of emphasis are management and human resources, holding two global HR certifications from the Society of Human Resource Management and from the Human Resource Certification Institute. Dr. Crane has traveled nationally and internationally as an instructor, program administrator, and consultant. Dr. Crane currently serves as professional member and leader with Kentucky State Council. So here I would like to uh, pass over uh, the, uh, the stage to Dr. Crane and uh, let him uh, take you through the CU Global, through the Campbellsville University programs. Thank you so much. Dr. Crane, welcome. Thank you very much, Paul, and I appreciate you and, and uh, your kind words. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I guess good evening for you. Uh, we're so glad you uh, took the time out to come in and, and listen to uh, what we have to offer for you. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. So just to give you a brief overview of what I'm going to do, I'll talk a little bit about Campbellsville University, and then I'll talk just a little bit about our programs, and then a little bit about admissions. <laughs> so just to give you a brief overview of everything. Of course, we're here for you to answer any questions you have. Um, but I don't want you to fall asleep on me while I'm, I'm talking through all of this. So we'll just make this kind of quick. Uh, but again, any questions you have, uh, please do not hesitate to answer. Um, so uh, I, on the first slide here, you can see that uh, Campbellsville University is a widely acclaimed Kentucky-based Christian university located in Campbellsville, Kentucky. Um, you know, Campbellsville University has been around since 1906. Um, so, I mean, we're talking 116 years. So, you know, we have a proud heritage of education and, and, and helping students and to become servant leaders and to grow in your profession uh, and, and just to help you in all those ways along the way. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and read the mission statement to you. You can read that. I will go over a few core values that, are, that really stand out. Uh, the very first one, to foster academic excellence through pre-professional certificates associates, baccalaureate, graduate programs uh, through traditional technical and online systems. And, and now we have a, a PhD program as well. Um, so, you know, we, we are a full service institution and we are here to, you know, all education institute, institutions are here to give learning, to help you grow, to help you professionally. And, and we are here for you for that, okay? Um, to provide a, an environment conducive for student success. You, you'll probably hear me say this several times. We, we want you to succeed. Uh, we want you to do well. Um, that shows that we are doing our job well, right? Um, if you're not successful, then we're not successful. So we, we are here to ensure you are successful. Uh, to model servant leadership and effective stewardship. Uh, we want everybody to, to, to be that servant leader, to, to help others, um, to, to inspire others, to encourage others. You know, while we do that for you, we want you to do it for others. Okay, uh, next slide, please. Um, we have two accreditations. Um, Campbellsville University is accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges. Yes, that is a lot to say. Uh, we just call it SAC-COC. Uh, there are six regionally accredited um, accreditation bodies in the United States. SACS is one of those. And I will tell you, if you do any research on SACS, you will see that they are, if not the most, one of the most stringent when it, become, when it comes to uh, accrediting institutions. Uh, we have to make sure everything is done and done correctly. Um, they, as the old saying goes, uh, our, our uh, I's are dotted and our T's are crossed, right? And we are also accredited through the International Accreditation Council for Business Education, 
IACBE. That is a School of Business Economics and Technology standalone accreditation. Uh, we are very, very, very pleased to be uh, accredited the School of Business by IACBE. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, just a few highlights. Um, we are engaged in uh, international education and have been for over 20 years. Uh, right now, the majority of our international students are from India. Uh, we have multiple campuses across the United States. Uh, we have a new location, hopefully starting before long in, in Windsor. Uh, and yes, I'm reading these to you. I know you can read them, but uh, a few of these I just want to pick out that they, they really are standouts for Campbellsville University. Uh, we do have classrooms. Um, well, classrooms or, or meeting rooms and office space in Hyderabad uh, at Maripet Station. So, um, you know, we, we are committed to our students all around the world. And we are committed to giving you the best or providing for you the best uh, higher education experience that, that you'll ever have. Uh, and we can do that. Uh, you give us, give us that opportunity and you do what you're supposed to do and we do what we're supposed to do. This could be the best higher education learning experience uh, that you could have. Okay. Uh, one of the largest enrollments of graduate international students in the United States. Um, another great, another great uh, accolade for Campbellsville University. Sorry, Paul, go ahead. <clears throat> Next slide, please. All right, so we have, pardon me, we have six graduate programs uh, to offer you for our STEM degrees. That's MSITM, Master of Science and in Information Technology Management, and MSCS, Master of Science and Computer Science, MSDSAI, Master of Science, Data Science, Artificial Intelligence, and then an MSCC, a Master of Science in Cloud Computing. Uh, the MSDSAI and the MSCC um, we are very, very, very uh, pleased to have those programs. We just started those in January, and um, they are taking off very nicely. Uh, we have two management degrees, uh, MBA. It's actually a PMBA, Professional Master's of Business Administration, uh, nine tracks, well, MBA. Uh, information, I'm not going to read you all of these. A couple of biggies, ITM, Supply Chain Logistics Management. And you know, I'm going to say human resource management, right? I'm a human resource guy, uh, as you heard Paul would say. And then we have a master's in management and leadership. So whether you're wanting to further your degree in, in, in IT computer science area, or if you or further your career, or you want to further your career in a management type area, uh, so you can lead others, uh, we, have, we have you covered. And then, of course, the MSITM, the Master of Science and in Information Technology Management, uh, that has been our cornerstone uh, for the last five years that will well, be five years in July that I've been over the program. It does give you both. It gives you IT and it it's basically showing you how to manage IT professionals. Um, so it's a very, very good program. Um, but all of our programs um, will help you in your career and, and further your knowledge and would be uh, very beneficial for you. Next slide, please. Uh, just wanted to introduce to you uh, by picture only, uh, a few of our professors. We have, a, we have approximately 35 professors, uh, full-time and part-time uh, to, to encourage you, to teach you, to help you, um, all of those things, right? Uh, Dr. Jimmy Flores, he's a professor of IT and management. Um, these first two guys, we kind of call them Dr. Doctor. Uh, Dr. Flores has two doctor, doctoral degrees. Um, next guy is Dr. Sonny Oniniri. Uh, he's a lead professor of the PMBA. Uh, he has a PhD in finance and a DBA in accounting. Uh, so we call both of those guys Dr. Doctor just to kind of have a little bit of fun. Um, the next lady, Dr. Karen Fullerton, uh, professor of economics. Uh, Dr. Vince Gavetta, he's the lead professor of computer science. Vince spent many, many, many years um, out in the public in the job sector and, and is very, very knowledgeable of how computer science works and how it works in 
in the office setting, right? Honorable Jason Spears, um, you know, we have a, a cyber law course. Uh, he teaches that. He is actually a judge uh, in West Virginia, uh, Kentucky, or I'm sorry, West Virginia in the United States. And uh, Dr. Dusselbaum Bishop, we call her Sheb. Uh, she's also a professor of computer science. All of these individuals at, at some point were very active in the public sector. They were, they are practicing professionals um, or were practicing professionals. So you get the real time um, knowledge of what's going on in the outside world and what's going on with inside the education arena. So you get the best of both worlds there, okay? Uh, all of our professionals are, are, I mean, all of our professors are professional and will help you in any way they can. Uh, next slide, please. So just a little bit about program details. Um, these programs are either 30 hours long or 36 hours long, right? So you either need to take 10 classes to finish a program or you need to take 12. Um, we can get into that a little bit later with you. Um, it'll take you one and a half to two years to finish these programs. Um, that's if you everything goes smoothly, right? Uh, each course is eight weeks long. Uh, we have a blended teaching format where we do online and we also do face-to-face -face Zoom meetings. Uh, we wanna keep you connected with the school. You, if you join Campbellsville University, you will be a part of our family. Uh, I can say that um, with complete confidence because I earned an MBA at Campbellsville University many years ago, uh, and I'm a part of Campbellsville's family as a student and as a professor. Um, so we do, we do take that very seriously. Uh, when we say family, we don't just throw that out there to, to make it sound good. We take that very seriously here, okay? Um, but so we do the Zoom meetings. We want to keep you connected with, with the school. We want to keep you connected with your professor. And we just want you to feel a part. It's, it, sometimes it gets a little lonely out there if you're just taking online classes. So we do the Zoom meetings to make you feel a part of, of what's going on, okay? Uh, each course is three credit hours long. Uh, cost for each course is 336 a credit hour. And uh, when you take it from your home country, okay? Go ahead, Paula, thank you. And then just a few things, Don, I, I'll let you read this uh, as well, uh, but we have a few required documents uh, to, to be accepted. Three professional references, statement of purpose, resume, passport, uh, government ID. I know I said I'd let you read this to you, but I'm reading, I, I'd let you read this, but I'm reading it. I get it. Uh, soft copy, copies of all consolidated marks memos and transcripts. All right. Credential evaluation. Um, now, we can do, if you don't have, uh, if you're in India and you do not have a WES or ECE, we can do an internal evaluation for you. Uh, just let us know and, and we can do that. Um, uh, English proficiency, proficiency, TOEFL, IELTS, Duolingo, Pearson. We do have a CU uh, ESL exam. Uh, do, from what I understand, Duolingo is probably uh, the quickest um, and, and might be the best way. I don't know, uh, but we can help you with that. I can get you with my assistant director of admissions and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll answer all that for you, okay? Uh, GRE, GMAT, um, it may be waived if you have at least a 3.0 uh, or US equivalent. Uh, actually, our GRE and GMAT have been waived. Um, and I think, is that, I think that's it, Palmer, isn't it? Yes, yes, Dr. Train, I think, yeah. Right. Now, I know I went through that very quickly. Uh, I know you've been working all day probably and you're tired and you didn't want to hear me just go on and on and on. I get that. Uh, but we are here for you now. Uh, if you have questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Um, and thank you very much for being here. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Trin. That was very insightful. Uh, so uh, team, I think we are open for questions now. And, uh, you know, anybody is having any questions, you can please uh, you know, drop it in the chat box and we'll be happy to take the question.
Uh, there were a couple of questions uh, that were sent before the webinar started. And maybe I can just uh, share that um, uh, with you, uh, Dr. Crane. Uh, the sure. first thing is uh, in terms of how long is the course? I know you did mention it's one and a half to two years uh, uh, on the slide. But if uh, somebody wants to start the course in India and then want to continue in the U.S., uh, you know, how many terms can they do it in India and then move to U.S.? That was one of the questions they answered. I asked, sorry. All right, no, that's okay. So um, if, you, um, if you do it completely online, um, you can get, as, you, as it showed, a year and a half to two years. And um, actually, it, it could be even a little bit quicker if you do it everything online. If you do two classes every eight weeks, um, and, and you can actually finish the degree in a year. The one and a half, two years is when you, if you were to come to the United States, um, because we, we have to throw our, our terms are 16 weeks. Uh, but if you complete degree, the, the degree completely, completely online, uh, you could feasibly get done uh, in, a, in a year. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Crane. Uh, and uh, and we also have a question from Ravi asking how many dollars I can save if I take these courses by University Hub. Uh, so uh, Ravi, to answer your question, uh, I think you can uh, save uh, you know a pretty big amount because one year you'll be doing it from India itself, uh, and only the second year you'll be moving to the US. So for the first year, the, the classes through University Hub are going to be uh, you know. Uh, of, of comparatively much much lower price. You can always reach out to us for, for more information and you know we can uh, speak it out in detail. Thank you, Ravi. And any more questions, please? Anyone else, uh, you know, if you have any questions, it's a good opportunity for us uh, to talk to Dr. Crane directly. Uh, and again, uh, this session is recorded and will be emailed to all of you. So even if uh, right now you don't have any questions, you can always get back to us and we can uh, answer any of these questions. I think we'll give it another uh, minute, you know, just uh, for a few of them to think and uh, respond. Looks like we have a couple of questions. Shrub and Regina, what if visa is not approved? Uh, if your visa is not approved, you can finish the degree completely online, right? So, I mean, you don't have to come to the United States. I know that that might be the end goal, but if for some reason in your visa is not approved, you can continue on um, and finish completely online and receive your degree from Campbellsville University. Does that answer Absolutely. that question? Absolutely. Absolutely, Dr. Crane. And just to reiterate uh, uh, everyone on the call, uh, many of our students who join CU Global, uh, you know, some of them, they want to come to the U.S., actually majority of them, but many of them also want to stay back in their home country and get the qualification. And again, the advantage is that you can be in your home country. That's one. And secondly, you know, you also save the cost in the tuition fee, you know. So, so that's uh, another aspect that you need to consider. Thank you. Thank you, Pavan. Thank you, Dr. King. We also have one more question from uh, Mr. Mike uh, asking how much is the course tuition fee in India less than in the US? What is the percentage? Uh, like, how much is the percentage that is less uh, when compared to actually be uh, studying in the US? Pavan, so, did, um, did, uh, would you like Dr. send you that? Sorry, Dr. Crane. Did Kieran send you that? Uh, yes, I, I do have. So it's a, approximately, I would say, again, you know, there are quite a few elements in the fee structure. So we need to meet the students one-to-one, -one, you know, 
to see what options are they looking at are they looking at two semester in india and then going but if you if you look at a, at a, at a ball mark you know it would be about 30 to 35% uh, discounted uh, than what you would pay at the university campus right uh, thank you thank you pavan uh, mike i hope this answers uh, this answers your question i can also and see there is one uh, yes Sorry, sure pavan go ahead Sure, sure. So, how long the study in India and then in the US? So, generally, we recommend taking two terms in India, and then from the third term, you know, you could go to the US. But again, depends on the students. You know, sometimes students want to complete only one term in India and then go. So, again, uh, you know, it depends from a student to a student. Hope that answers your questions, Mike. Yeah. Great. I can see another question from Ravi. Yes, uh, CU Global. You can do CU Global from anywhere. Um, so it doesn't have to be just uh, for India. If you're in Turkey, that's fine as well. Uh, I will say though, if you do need a um, a credential evaluation, we would need to get one. Um, see, you cannot do a credential evaluation from uh, Turkey. Uh, we are only licensed, we're not licensed, we are only trained uh, to do from India. So I just wanted to bring that up just in case uh, you heard me say we could do a credential evaluation. Uh, but love to have you, uh, Ravi. Yeah, absolutely, Ravi. Uh, just to add to what Dr. Crane said, if you have, uh, you know, any of those questions, you know, you can always send your transcripts and we can also give you uh, a feedback in terms of what credential evaluation body you can use. So yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are here to advice at any point. Thank you. And I also see a question from Fatima. If I begin the course at home but cannot get a visa, is the tuition refunded? Uh, unfortunately, no. Um, you will, whatever fees you've paid is for the school um, and you're towards your degree. I can see another question coming along which says if student completes masters from India, can we get invitation from CU for the graduation ceremony? Uh, the answer for this is absolutely yes, uh, definitely. Uh, we recently had one graduation ceremony uh, just a few weeks back where we had students who had completed online, they came to the campus. So absolutely the answer is yes. Any more questions at all? Uh, I can't see any more questions coming in at this stage. So I would again like to repeat, uh, in case uh, you know you don't have any questions, but it comes at a later stage, uh, you can always send those questions to us and we'll be very happy to answer. Uh, the team at uh, University Hub is, all, is there to support. Uh, great, I've seen one more question coming in. Is CPT eligible for this program? Yes. And it, it is. Um, if you come into the United States and according to SEVP, you, you must um, study in the United States for two semesters uh, before you're eligible for CPT. However, uh, that, is, that is if the program does not require CPT. We actually do have one program and you mean you have to study in the United States. You can't do two terms in your home country and then come here. You have to be two terms in the United States, uh, but we do have the PMBA, Professional Master's Business, Business Administration, and it does require work authorization with CPT. So yes, depending on what pro you can, all, all six programs uh, allow for work authorization um, if you meet all the requirements. And the, one of the main requirements to grade point average and uh, either being in the United States for two semesters or being in the PMBA. That answer, Shravan? Great. 
Great. Uh, thank you, Dr. Crane. That answers the question. Right. I can't see any more questions that we need to get back at this stage. Let's give it another 30 seconds, you know, and uh, then we can take it on from there. Okay, great. Um, I think with that, we will conclude the webinar today. And uh, Dr. Crane, I would like to thank you again for uh, coming onto this webinar, you know, and giving this information and insightful information to all the attendees today. Um, as I've mentioned uh, even before, uh, we will send a recording link of this webinar to all the attendees. And if you have any questions, you're very welcome to send us uh, an email on cuglobal at universityhub.com or even we have uh, enclosed our numbers in India, which is 733-755-865. Um, I think there's one question before we go, it's just coming. Will the tuition fee change if student is studying from USA? Uh, yes, uh, we, as Paulin said earlier, uh, while you're in the United States or in your home country, uh, through CU Global, uh, we do, we do give that 30-ish percent discount, uh, but when you come into the United States, it will be um, it will be the full the full amount. Uh, so yes, it will be higher in the United States. Great, thank you, thank you, Dr. Crane. So once again, uh, thanking uh, Dr. Crane and all the attendees, you know, uh, for taking time out for this uh, webinar today. Uh, we will be in touch uh, which, uh, with each one of you. Uh, we have your email IDs and you have taken our contact details as well. If there is anything uh, before we send the email out and you want to get in touch with us, please do send us an email or give us a call and we'll be very happy to help. So with this, we'll conclude and say thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Thank you Thanks so much. Everybody. Have a great evening. Thank you.